So the the president saying, no, we're just uh, yeah, there's no need to worry about inflation. We're we're no one's worried about unchecked inflation. Meanwhile, we have a new record for inflation. In fact, for July, according to Investing.com, U.S. producer price inflation jumped 7.8 percent, largest year-to-year increase on record. And I'm waiting for everyone to say, well, you know, transitory is six permanent now. <laughs> Just waiting. Who man. It's uh, it's bad news bear. And then we just we were talking about last night or last night yesterday. I mentioned how Joe Biden is begging OPEC to bail out Joe Biden yeah. because he made a bunch of stupid decisions about energy. And now because we don't have the now because he shut down Keystone Pipeline, you realize that the Keystone Pipeline was taking oil and we were shipping it out of Houston around the world so that people weren't going to be dependent upon Saudi Arabia and people wouldn't be dependent upon Russia. But everyone was like, no, if we stop the transport of the oil, that's still going to be that's still going to be gotten out of the ground, then maybe we'll stop all this. Well, yay, we'll save the oil. No, it, they're just going to put the oil on trains now. So great job. You made the situation worse, morons. You made it way worse. Because the oil, they're still going to be drilling for the oil. That's still happening. This was only, that argument was only ever about how it was going to be transported. What's better, a pipeline that goes quietly through communities and provides jobs while it's being constructed no and emissions. a boost to the economy in those areas, no emissions, and or super safe Train. trains which totally do not at all ever have any accidents or issues. Damn yeah. I, again, why, did the, why does the left love old-timey vaudeville and transportation? Blows the mind. I don't get it. So now, now we're watching gas prices rise. Now we are watching ourselves. We were energy independent. Now we're having to, I guess, rely on the Saudis again. Good job. What's the point? These are all decisions that one would make if they wanted to screw over the country. Right. If you wanted to make America dependent upon people that you don't want America to be dependent upon, this is how this is how you would do it. By the way, if you look at May and June of last year as to how many barrels of oil the U.S. went out to buy from foreign countries, the number was zero. If you look at this year, May and June, mm. of the barrels we had to buy from foreign entities— it's nearly 200,000 barrels. Mm. Mm. It's crazy. Yeah. So that's, so that's why he's, by, that's why he's asking, he's asking OPEC to put out more oil because gas prices. But yet, then he tells people this, audio sound by 13. Listen. We're uh, taking action to address gas prices as well. Today, gas prices are lower than they were early in this decade. But they're still high enough to create a pinch on working families. Dude, don't try to short sell it. You screwed people over. Tell Just me to... what is early this decade? What what was early this decade? Hmm. That would be what twenty twenty. Hmm. Because that's early this decade. Mm-hmm. If he's talking about this decade now, if he's talking about ten years ago when Obama was in office, yeah, and it was four dollars a gallon, yeah, then maybe that makes sense. But earlier this decade is not accurate. No, it's not at all accurate. And why are people feeling the pinch? Because the production of oil. That's why. We stopped contributing as much to it. it kills the pipeline. So now, I, I mean, it, it, and, and then also don't forget, and Obama did this and Joe Biden's doing it again, oil production on public land, even land, public land that's leased out. Uh, you had private drilling in, on private land that ended up having to offset that last time Obama shut that down. No, so this is him realizing, oh my gosh, we're totally going to get screwed. Oh, we, we better do something about this. That's exactly what this is. 